Hello, how are you? Today we are going to try out the Blender Cleanser Solid Unscented Silicone Scrub Mat and Cleanser. <laughs> today's the end of the day. My hair is probably messed up. I'm a little sweaty. I'm trying out a new primer today. Uh, but I need to clean my brushes and I got this a while ago and I've been wanting to try this out because the last cleanser that I used for my brushes was the Morphe Solid Cleanser. And I saw this online and I was like, okay, I wanna try this. I see this, I see you. So um, if you see, it's got like the rubber mat that I think you're supposed to like use to clean it. I really don't know how to use this. We're gonna learn this together. And then here's the soap right here. So uh, I don't know, I just thought it looked cute and I thought that I would try it out on camera and kind of do a review on it and see how things go. So let's go ahead and read about the product before we get into trying to figure it out. So let me look it up. Okay, so this is $16 at Sephora and it says that it's vegan, uh, without parabens, without sulfates, SLS, LESs, without path phthalates. I don't really know what all that means, but I think it's good for you to not be ingesting or be around those things. I don't know. Uh, it says what it is, a travel-friendly alternative to the liquid beauty the liquid blender cleanser along with a custom grid to dry beauty blender and deep clean brushes so the mat you can use to dry your beauty blender and deep clean brushes i don't really get it um, this cleanser removes excess residue and germs for clean makeup application it supports the integrity of the blender as it provides the same cleansing results and soothing lavender fragrance as the liquid blender cleanser. Okay, um, the blender cleanser formula offers protection against 99.7% of harmful germs, even if stains are left behind, plus continuous protection from 99.9% .9 of harmful germs 24 hours after washing, even if stains are left behind. Okay, so sounds good, simple, right? Uh, let's see how to use. Suggested usage, here we go. Wet beauty blender or makeup brushes. Rub beauty blender or makeup brushes over the soap, creating a lather, repeat if necessary. Okay, but I wanna use the matte thing. Is that just a gimmick? They totally sold me on this. Um, gently squeeze beauty blender or brushes and rinse again to remove any excess cleanser and water. Set beauty blender to dry on the custom grid. Okay, uh, deep clean brushes by placing the custom grid over the soap, wetting the brush and swishing it back and forth across grid to create a scrubbing lather. Do not use the scrubbing process with Beauty Blender as it can damage the material. Rinse. Okay, we're gonna try it with the mat first and then we're going to, if that doesn't work, then we're just gonna go regular style and go into the cleanser. Um, like you normally would. So let me get my camera set up in a little bit different orientation over here by the sink and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the way I have my camera set up, it's gonna be a little awkward for me to see what I'm doing. So we're just gonna go ahead and try. These are all my brushes and you guys know, like this is my concealer brush. This is the most disgusting brush that you've ever seen in your entire life. And uh, so we're gonna be washing this one. This is my powder brush. So we'll give that a good cleanse too. And then this is my like uh, duo fiber that I um, pat in setting spray. And yeah, that's pretty much all I use this for now. But uh, we'll give them all a nice clean because uh, we got the beauty blender out and uh, we'll try it out and see how it goes. Okay, so I have my instructions here. So it says wet beauty blender makeup brushes. Okay, so we wet the brushes first. I'm gonna wet them. I think I'm gonna get them pretty wet. Okay, now they're wet, so we're gonna take, we'll take our foundation brush first. Okay, so we're supposed to run it over. Is it lathering? I, am I doing this right? <laughs> I don't think it's working. I think we're just gonna have to use this as, am I using this right? Wait, let me try to flip it over. Okay, let's try this. It's not working. I want to use this in here and... 
Okay, maybe we get it wet with the soap first and then we'll put this back on. So let's try this. Okay, then we'll put this back on. I mean, this seems kind of gimmicky, right? Oh, I guess it is like scrubbing out like a lot of the stuff. There, let's try another one. So we'll do our really dirty one, see how that goes. Get it nice and deep in there. Okay, let's rinse it. Oh, wow. I mean, it did get it pretty clean. I mean, look at it. It's pretty clean. It was pretty gross before. Okay, so final thoughts on this. Um, so the sponge, I feel like, did maybe get my brush is a little bit more clean, but um, I feel like it's just kind of gimmicky, like kind of a spook. Uh, for $16, I mean, I really don't know a price on a good cleanser. I think the Morphe one you can get for like $10, so this is like an extra six for that mat on the inside. Did it do its job? I think it helped it clean out the brushes a little bit, but it's just a basic cleanser at the end of the day. So yeah, if you want the cute little mat, then go for it. But um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend running out and buying this. So anyway, those are my final thoughts on this. I thought it would be a fun video. Hope you enjoyed this. It's a little bit different than my other stuff that I've been doing. I've got some good stuff coming up. I just ordered the new Jaclyn Hill skin blurring tint. I don't really remember what it's called, but uh, ordered that. So I'm really excited to try that on camera. It looks really, really cool. It looks right up my alley. Uh, I've got a couple other videos planned, so stick around, hit that subscribe button so you can check out my content coming up. And if you need any real estate help in Colorado, I'm your man. I'm a full-time real estate agent. All my contact information is down below, so hit me up for that. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will check you on the next one. Bye.